Right, the other big story around the country today, of course, has been the press freedom censorship story with every newspaper in the country on its front page basically explaining the plight of what this press uh, freedom censorship uh, issue is doing. And if we go to the front of the Oz, PM tested on secrecy laws. That's the headline. And, of course, the kicker, Law Council urges coalition to drop politicians' final say on media prosecutions. And a uh, story here by Rosie Lewis. Scott Morrison has declared that journalists should not be prosecuted at the whim of politicians a month after Attorney General Christian Porter gave himself new powers to make the final call to take reporters to court for exposing government secrets. It's a very powerful campaign, Damien Tomlinson, and I've got to say that uh, uh, there's some momentum gathering around this, and I'll quote very shortly when I go to Scott from uh, the front page of The Australian and its editorial, which I think is incredibly prescient. What are your thoughts, Damien? Yeah, look, it's been, uh, it's been great to see uh, the industry unite in such a powerful fashion, uh, the front pages across the nation today. You know, we're absolutely unmissable and uh, it made morning news coverage and, and led the day on radio and, and other mediums. So uh, there's no doubt that this issue is as big as, as the papers are treating it and it looks like we've uh, managed uh, to, to have a pretty decent breakthrough there with, uh, with uh, the PM uh, indicating that these, you know, uh, yeah, MP's discretion uh, being applied to some of these things uh, may be squashed, which is good. Scott, let me read you a couple of paths from the very powerful uh, front page editorial on The Australian. Scott Morrison says no one should be seeking a leave pass to be above the law, but that's exactly what has happened with the rise of the national security state. Politicians and officials, whether by accident or design, have constructed a trust us apparatus, but the enemy is not journalism per se. The enemy they've constructed is any scrutiny at all. We've seen to our horror that censorship at all costs becomes septic. Keith Murdoch, father of Rupert, the founder of our parent company News Corp Australia, was a war correspondent in World War I. On April 25, 1915, Australians landed in Anzac Cove as part of the Gallipoli mission. Australia's then Prime Minister Andrew Fraser did not learn of this assault until May 8. No justification had been given for the use of our troops. Thousands were killed, yet the censors, four levels of them, ensured our political leaders and public were given only sanitised accounts until Keith Murdoch, the late Keith Murdoch, stepped in to file his reports. Uh, powerful stuff, isn't it, Scott? It is powerful stuff, and it was significant to see what the Prime Minister said today. But as the Australian quite rightly pointed out, uh, it was only a month or so ago that Christian Porter said, look, look, we're going to... And I think this is because of that campaign, said, look, we're going to make sure it's up to me in the end whether we proceed or not. And that was seen as an effort by the government to, to, to placate um, those in the concerns about this. But, in fact, it raised new concerns that, once again, it came down not to the police making the decision but politicians. Now, whether Morrison has thrown... Christian Porter under the bus today by saying, no, it shouldn't come down to politicians. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll see what the interpretation is. But I think what the Australian's editorial says is so right. What you do see is that governments, not just here, but across the world, of all pers of political persuasions and colours, tend to use security as a way to start to do that kind of mission creep, to control, to constrain, to restrict information going out to the public. And within defence, within security officials, they say, see that as an opportunity to do this. And repeatedly, at state, at federal levels, you will see governments claim that we can't reveal this, we can't reveal that for this reason and that reason. In fact, they don't want to reveal it because it can be embarrassing. But it's really about using the laws and using a, a disguise in terms of what those laws are for to restrict this information. And I think... Across the board, what a wonderful campaign today. But I think there's a lot of work to go yet to make sure we get the proper laws in place in Australia.